Hello and Hello. welcome to Washington Exec's video series. I'm Amanda Ziede with Washington Exec and with me today is Raj Shankar, who serves as the Vice President of Digital Transformation and Go-To Market for Aerospace, Defense and Government Contractors at Salesforce. Raj works on industry strategy, digital solutions and helping customers transform their business. Thank you so much for joining me today, Raj. Thank you so much for your time, Amanda, as well. It's great to be speaking with you. Nice, thank you. So I see the term digital thread being used a lot in our industry. Can you tell us what it means? So as you said, the term digital thread is being used a lot and uh, it's not uncommon to hear different definitions. Mm -hmm. In many cases, when you ask defense manufacturers about this, frequently you will hear them define this as a framework that allows a connected data flow and integrated view of assets data throughout its life cycle across traditionally siloed you know, functional areas. Now, if you ask software vendors, they might say a digital thread creates a closed loop between digital and physical worlds to help optimize products, people, processes, and places, the four Ps. Now, Gartner has described the digital thread as connecting multiple data and information sources across design, manufacturing, and supply chain systems. So if you ask me, all of these definitions are correct. You know, simply put, a digital thread allows for data and processes to flow across the enterprise free from functional silos, and that enables an organization to make decisions quicker and move faster. That makes sense. So what are the challenges that the aerospace and government contractors are dealing with in terms of this digital thread? So the aerospace and government contracting industries have proven to be incredibly resilient even during the pandemic, you know, and that's driven by really inspiring corporate leadership across the industry. For example, you know, what we've witnessed is aerospace companies strengthening their supply chains to help secure the defense industrial base, or companies moving into more agile customer engagement models for like sales, marketing, operations, and such. But that said, when you look at the research data about digital threat in the a and industry, only 9% of organizations are deriving operational efficiency and business gains from digital services and data. Similarly, only 40% say that disparate data, data systems and data sources pose major operational challenges for the industry. So let's look at this from two lenses, aerospace manufacturers and government contractors. For aerospace manufacturers, the physical world is vast. There are physical products, there are components, parts, equipment, and assets that these companies make. There are sensors and infrastructure that surround these physical assets, and there are people that interact with them. The digital world also has many facets. Manufacturers operate with many different enterprise software solutions that help manage various processes and functions and produce a lot of data. For example, there's as design product data, as build manufacturing process data, field data, as maintain data across the entire life cycle. In most cases, these seem very disparate and it's difficult to determine and manage how and where they intersect and how they relate to one another. So that breeds a lot of inefficiency in terms of productivity and costs. Now, similarly for government contractors, the ability to harness all their data and processes as part of their capture strategy is incredibly important. For example, when you look at the growth of uh, say OTAs and uh, GVACs and IDAQs in recent years, with the federal government really looking to acquire technology and capabilities more rapidly, it puts enormous burden on these organizations to be able to respond quicker and faster. Makes sense. So tell us how Salesforce is then helping address these challenges. So the traditional approach to data transformation has always been about master data management type projects that serve to pr promote data uniformity between systems. While those have certain advantages, MDM projects are often very time consuming. They're really expensive. And it's very hard to provide tangible value very quickly, especially in terms of using data <clears throat> in a very agile manner. Also, the processes are often very expensive to automate and inefficient to develop and maintain, which really reduces the return of investment of these projects. But those things are here to stay, right? But a new approach is certainly needed. Rather than extract and transform data at source, how about we allow data to stay in legacy systems, connect and transform on demand, and then drive business insights and capabilities as and when needed. You know, at its very essence, a digital thread is really about establishing a data culture where companies can use their data to improve their decision making. And they can then weave this data-driven philosophy into their processes, operations, their mindset, 
and the very identity of the organization. So at Salesforce, you know, we enable a viable digital threat and we use a framework, framework called unlock, analyze, act, and collaborate to enable a digital threat. So let's, let's look at this in pieces. So we do provide a better alternative to the whole data integration problem based on the concept of API-led integration with MuleSoft. This is a very standardized way to connect data and applications with reusable, composable APIs designed to perform specific roles, whether that be unlocking data through legacy systems, mainframes and such, composing data into processes, or delivering an experience. Next, we need to be able to turn that data into actual business insights. This is where Tableau comes in to visualize it, understand it, and present it in very compelling ways so that it can be acted upon. Once this rich data is brought into an engagement layer like our Salesforce platform, we can help with rapid collaboration with Slack, which we just closed the acquisition on, by allowing all stakeholders access to relevant data, enabling the right processes and information flow across the lifecycle, from sales through design, manufacturing, and service. This truly transforms customer engagement and satisfaction by connecting and allowing collaboration across products, people, processes, and places, the four Ps. In the same vein, for government contractors, the ability to harness all the relevant data sources, dissect past performance data, predict P events, collaborate rapidly across teaming partners is certainly a game-changing capability as they pursue contracts. Our nation's uh, aerospace and garment customers are among the most sophisticated and capable visionaries in the world. To summarize, you know, these trailblazers know that it's not enough just to adapt. They need to really transform to accelerate growth and differentiate from their competition. And many are realizing that the technologies that historically helped them get to this point are in the innovative platforms that is going to future the fuel their future growth and operational excellence. Well, wonderful. Thank you for helping us understand the concept of digital threat and how it's impacting our industry. Thanks so much for joining me today, Raj. Thank you so much, Amanda.